This mystery box show story is brought to you by Adam and Eve. Adam and Eve has all the toys, gear, and accessories you need, whether you're playing with a partner, flying solo, or partying with a group of your most intimate friends. For free shipping in the U.S. and Canada and 50% off one item, go to adamandeve.com and use the code MYSTERY and make some sexy stories of your own. Please welcome to the stage, Emma Fordham. About a year ago, I woke up to a Bumble notification that I'd gotten a message from JP. Now, this surprised me because a couple days earlier, I'd messaged him saying, hey, we live two and a half hours apart. We're never going to meet. This isn't going to work. And then when I read what he'd written, my surprise only deepened. This is what he wrote. Hi, Emma, I'm rolling the dice. I know you're just gonna be mad at me. I know you're gonna block me. I just ask that you don't report me. It's been four years since I last touched a woman. I miss giving pleasure. I just wanna be seen. Here you go. Now, when I said that, you probably inserted some commas, some periods, <laughs> some exclamation points. I need you to delete all of them. <laughs> because when JP wrote, he rarely, if ever, used punctuation. Now you just heard that I'm a writing teacher. So this <laughs> is... This is an affront to everything <laughs> that I stand for. But he'd also attached two photos. Now, for those of you who've done the Bumble, Tinder, online dating thing, you know that when photos initially come through, they're blurred out. But I had a feeling, before I even opened them, what I received. So, I took a sip of tea, I took a deep breath, I clicked on the first, and the image filled my screen. And my initial reaction was, oh, okay, yep, yep, I got a dick pic. The photo started right under his nose and ended at the base of a very erect penis. And I knew how I was supposed to react. I was supposed to find this disgusting. I was supposed to feel put off by this. I was supposed to screenshot this and immediately text all my friends <laughs> to me. <laughs> to make merciless fun of this. But as I examined the photo, <laughs> I had to admit to myself, I don't hate this. <laughs> there was a sly grin, a single dimple, a beautiful naked chest, and a pair of arms that honestly had made me swipe right in the first place. So I opened the second photo, and my reaction is similar to the first, like, uh, yep, mm-hmm, okay. It was the same type of pose with the same soft directional lighting, except <laughs> this time his mouth was open, and his hand was around his cock, and he was clearly masturbating. And while I liked this photo a little less than the first, I had to admit to myself, this is kind of hot. <laughs> I thought about what he'd said, please don't, don't block me, and I knew in that moment, okay, I should probably unmatch him. But instead, I thought, okay, I'll, I'll just write him back. <laughs> 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 and, 
And I was in a rush. I had to go to work. And so, <laughs> admittedly, what I wrote to him was pretty corny. It was something like, well, good morning to you too, JP. <laughs> Color me surprised. <laughs> I'll write to you later. So I went to work and I thought about what had happened and I thought about him rolling the dice. After all, he didn't send those photos to me initially. And I had to reflect on how I was behaving in this whole dating world. Admittedly, I had been very cautious. I had been warned that I was going to be privy to a lot of bad behavior. But I had to get a little bit more real with myself. The reality is that I was terrified. I hadn't dated in 25 years. And I had been out of a marriage that could best be described as toxic. And I'd been married to a man who was very controlling and manipulative. And one of the ways that he exhibited those qualities was in the bedroom. There were times, if he didn't finish, where he'd say to me, hey, make sure you do your Kegels. <laughs> Sometimes, in the throes of it, when I'm thinking, this is going pretty well, he would stop and sit up and say, hey, I want to talk to you. I want to give you some feedback. <laughs> and towards the end, when sex for me was so fraught with anxiety, that I could barely get through it, he said to me, I think I know what the problem is. You have a low libido. And not only did I believe him, I accepted the implication. I just wasn't that sexual. And when I was, I wasn't that good at it. So I went home and I realized, well, I said I'd write them later. <laughs> and you know, I teach writing, so I love words. I'm familiar with words. I'm comfortable with words. But it occurred to me that there's a way to send a thousand of them pretty efficiently all at once. <laughs> so, I went into my bedroom, and even though I live alone, I shut the door. <laughs> I closed the drapes, I turned on the bedside lamp, I turned off the overhead light, I pushed the laundry off my bed, <laughs> I straightened the covers, took off all my clothes, and took a nude selfie. <laughs> it went something like this. Chin up, stomach sucked in, tits out, back arched, knee bent, toes pointed, overhead angle, click, click, click. <laughs> I'd studied. <laughs> and I reviewed the photos and initially thought, mm-mm, nope, mm-mm, delete. Nope, mm, gone. Okay, that's not half bad. I cropped out my face, opened Bumble, found the message, uploaded the attachment, and I paused and I felt that old voice come in. I look stupid. This is dumb. But then a new voice came in that said, no, you have to defy that. 
I look hot. (laughs) And before I could talk myself out of it, I hit send. And then my reaction was, oh, fuck. (laughs) It didn't take long before I got a reply from JP. And he wrote, thank you. Oh my God, you're so sexy. And then he put in every emoji possible. <laughs> Lips, heart, eyeballs, tongue, waterfall, eggplant, peach. <laughs> and I wrote him back and said, oh my God, I'm so relieved. I'd never sent a nude selfie before. I have to be honest with you. Online dating has been scary to navigate in an era when the other party's opening salvo is, what's your kink? (laughs) My honest reaction, a man who is kind to me. And I told him a little bit about my marriage and hinted at the ways I'd been feeling, that I had felt small, juvenile, behind. I didn't get a message back from him that night, and the next day I go to work, and I find myself at a faculty department meeting. (laughs) And I'm listening to some scintillating debate about the institutional hiring plan. (laughs) And like any responsible faculty member, I'm surreptitiously checking my phone. (laughs) And a notification comes through that I have a message from JP. And I open it thinking he's going to respond to what I'd written the night before. And as I read it, I feel my eyes go huge and the blood rush to my cheeks, particularly when I saw the phrase, pussy nectar. (laughs) I flip my phone over, I feel my leg start to go, and I think, I have got to get out of here. I make it through the meeting, I rush home, and once again, I go into my bedroom and shut the door so I can read his message in peace. He had written two full pages of the nastiest, dirtiest, explicit description of all the ways he wanted to eat my pussy. (laughs) And he was patient. (laughs) He started with how he would kiss me, soft and slow, then tugging on my bottom lip, how he would move down my neck, my collarbone, my breasts, until finally he could worship my yoni. (laughs) He'd start like a snake with its tongue darting out to smell the air. Transitioning to a hungry man furiously eating a cantaloupe on a hot <laughs> on a hot summer day. And never before in all of my life have I found his complete and total disregard for the conventions of grammar. <laughs> So goddamn erotic. (laughs) I think it took me 20 seconds of touching myself before I came. (laughs) And that night, I felt like I was floating. I felt light. 
I felt like something had broken free. So I wrote him back. I told him, I want to ride your mouth while you tongue fuck me into oblivion. <laughs> And we kept up these exchanges for a few days, sending more photos, sending more sex, until about a week passed, and I checked my Bumble queue, and poof, he disappeared. <laughs> there was no goodbye, there was no notification, no indication that his account had been deactivated, and for all I know, he was a creeper who had sent those photos to everybody. And if that's true, my honest reaction to that, I don't care. <laughs> the truth is, I owe JP a debt of gratitude. He helped me reclaim something I thought I'd lost. And so, to all of you, but most of all to JP for sending me that beautiful dick pic. <laughs> I say thank you.